Hello, my name is Kiki, and welcome back. I have someone to show you. This is the newest addition to my household. His name is Borshko, the voiceless one. He's a dragon. And his horn comes off. I put a little bow on him. Isn't he cute? He's got moss in his eyeball. I'm gonna hang him on my wall at some point. I love this guy. Anyway, I had a video in mind where um, I was gonna have seven of my friends dress me in any aesthetic they wanted for one day so that for a whole week I would have different outfits. And then I realized two things. One, I never go anywhere because I work from home and it's winter and there's not a whole lot to go do. And secondly, I realized that I am leaving for my trip to Poland in four days now. So I don't even have seven days anyway, and I want to finish this now. So what I did instead, because I had more than seven people that wanted to style an outfit for me, is I just let anyone who wanted to that I had communicated with pick me an aesthetic and we made a mood board and then we worked together to create these outfits. So they kind of showed me what they had in mind um, aesthetic wise. And then I showed them what types of clothing items I thought might fit in my closet because it's hard to virtually show people everything you own without taking it all out. That did happen anyway. <laughs> you will see by the end of this video. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. I loved doing this because I got to wear a lot of things that I kind of forgot about or um, got to wear things in a way that I wouldn't have thought to style them. So it was fun because now I'm like, like maybe I will wear this thing more often, you know? Last night I have filmed um, all of the outfits and things. So I will show you and I will be doing a voiceover to explain the process. You will notice um, the lighting changes a bit throughout the video because I was working on this from 3 p.m. to 2 a.m., I think. I did take a break to eat and watch a show, but it, it was a long day. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to do this like with a bunch of my friends because they all have super cool styles and I loved letting them pick my outfits and there's some that I will continue to wear and one of which I will even be probably packing to Poland. Why not just get to it? Let me show you what we got. The first person to be styling me for this video is Kate, my friend also known as Honey Sword Cosplay on Instagram and she chose me a dune theme. We really tried to incorporate each of these pieces from each photo. So we started off the look with some plain black skinny jeans because we are going for a still suit vibe. This is a shirt I think I got from like Princess Polly or something like a long time ago and the stomach was showing so we needed to cover it up for the desert. So here's a corset belt that gives an armored still suit vibe. For the necklace I went with this chain piece that kind of mimics Jessica's outfit when she arrives on Dune and my desert ready boots of course and this is the base of the outfit we also layered on top my leather trench coat that kind of looks like paul's coat on caladan before he leaves now that we have the still suit base paul's coat and jessica's necklace to tie in the fremen we have this fabric scarf thing which my cat was very intrigued by and i just tossed that over the shoulders and kind of tucked it up underneath that collar um, looks like the shawls that the Fremen all wear over their still suits and I think it's it's pretty cool that we were able to tie in all of those pieces from the movie and it doesn't really look like a cosplay which is nice I would actually feel very comfortable wearing this out because I do love all black the Dune book series has always been one of my favorites um, and obviously the movie is wonderful so thank you Kate for helping me get to live my Dune fantasy in this outfit <laughs> And then here's me being very thirsty because the desert is hot. This next outfit was chosen by my friend Kenna, also known as Cozy Kitsune, and they chose me a light academia cottage core. I was very happy to try this one out because I do love this style and spring is coming. So we have these light 
plaid pants with a pink button-up shirt with a cute collar and then we put a sweater over it just to keep it a bit warmer for the spring season and the collar peeking out is just so cute for socks we did a lacy white sock with these black shoes they are recycled tires which is very cool and then I braided my hair back like the photo they put put a little bow in it and for extra warmth this jacket which you can tie I decided to leave it open though because I like seeing the layers um, did my lips and cheeks off camera and then these earrings were chosen by Kenna little flowers and then this green pigment for my eyes which is made by Luna Roots Cosmetics and I really love how this outfit turned out I think the makeup is super cute too I wouldn't have thought to style all these pieces together but I really love how it turned out this type of outfit is really great for transitional weather because of all the layers you're able to take off jackets and sweaters if it gets too hot and I love it thank you Kenna this next one is by Holly Rose, the casual Celt on Instagram, and it's Faye Royalty meets Off-Duty Princess, which is quite fun. We started with this dress that does have pockets. Holly Rose said, if I'm dressing you, you must be wearing green. So this green French Meadows corset on top. We had to do the elf ears, that was necessary, she said, and then multiple metallic belts for that mystical fairy princess vibe. We also did my docks, which I should have put on before my corset. It was kind of a struggle, but we got through it. <laughs> and we layered some necklaces. This one had to be tucked into the cleavage because it's giving the Fey royalty vibes. We also did a choker and some rings. These drop earrings, and since Holly Rose is from Ireland, she said it was a must for me to wear my shamrock earring. <laughs> she also wanted to keep that green eyeshadow. But I did add extra blush, pinker lips, and then one of my favorite things is this potion from Luna Roots Cosmetics, and it is super shiny. It's called Beam Balm. Very fairy sparkly vibes. We parted the bangs, added a little tiara, and this was the final Fae Royalty slash off-duty princess look that we came up with together. I really like it. Um, it is kind of a lot, but I... I still would wear this in public. I think it's super cute. Um, I love these type of long dresses for spring too, so thank you Holly Rose. Me and Cinder both love it. <laughs> Moving on to the next outfit, this was made by Lauren Enchanted Noir on Instagram. We went with light and airy Victorian slash Edwardian because we kind of pulled from both. So starting out, we have this gunny sack skirt my friend found for me at the bins and this blouse my mom got me for my birthday. To keep the skirt secured and to break up the white, we put on a black belt. I flipped it backwards so the buckle wasn't showing. And then I added this little dainty choker and these sheer white socks I got from when I lived in South Korea. To keep with that all white airy theme, we have these white shoes that have cute little straps on them. I think they look very cute. Off camera, I did my hair in a Gibson girl updo, which was a bit tricky with all of my bangs and layers, but <laughs> we did it. I did some extra blush and added my Chatelaine from Petals and Poison, which I have not worn yet, and I am very excited to see it with this outfit. It is so cute. I feel like I'm ready for a tea party. Um, I want to just stroll the streets with a little parasol in this look. It's so cute. This isn't something that I think I would have styled myself, and I absolutely love it. It's very different from what I wear. So thank you, Lauren, for putting me in this cute little Victorian slash Edwardian look because I, I am living my dainty woman fantasy out here. <laughs> I couldn't resist a little moment with the jingling. Moving along, we have Epi next, Lady Epi on Instagram, who has chosen to style me in pirate core which is very exciting because Epi and I have done a couple pirate themed photo shoots together. So she started me out in this blouse and black pants, added these short little boots and a brown satin corset. I love this corset and I actually haven't worn it yet. So thanks Epi, I'm excited. <laughs> then we went with a gold coin looking belt because I have been pillaging for treasure. 
along with this collar necklace that looks like it could potentially have been stolen. Perfect. Moving along to my face, I have done darker cheeks and lips and a little bit of shadow on my eyes. Epi picked out these cute eyeball earrings, which don't scream pirate to me, but it's giving. And this jacket is from the 1900s. It's kind of a mess on the inside. I also haven't worn this yet, but it is giving very much pirate vibes and I am I'm obsessed with this jacket. It's a bit itchy, I will say, and doesn't fit me perfectly, but oh my god. I feel like a casual pirate, which is exactly what Epi was going for, so I guess you nailed it, Epi. Nice. It's actually pretty comfy, too. Um, I personally find stays very comfortable, so this is something I would definitely wear out in public. Thank you, Epi, for making me a pirate. Next on the list of stylists, we have Christian also known as Christian Gilbert, and he has styled me as Luane, his D&D character. And they are very cool. So we went with Christian's theme of a green shirt and brown pants, because that is very on brand. Both Christian and Luane are very into the fabric situation, so I have added a little necktie, as well as a few scarves around the waist with a thick leather belt because we kind of have to have some armor in there somewhere if we're going to be fighting people, right? So here it is with the little tie on the waist and the neck. And of course it wouldn't be a Christian outfit without hand wraps, so we had to add those. I have a black one on one hand and a gray one on the other hand. Did my hair kind of to the side like the art of his character. And then to top it off, we added this little capelet, which I actually sewed from an old blanket. I feel like I am ready to potentially commit crimes. For our androgynous makeup, we did no lips, dark eyes, and a couple little scars. I love this outfit. I feel ready for an adventure. Thanks, Christian. Took a quick dinner break, realized I was serving Pascal, and uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> This next look comes from Paige, Paige Lowe on Instagram, and they picked Arthur Pendragon slash kind of nightcore for me, which is amazing because we recently did this very cute Merlin shoot. So we started me out with this puffy sleeve blouse and some leggings. This is a leather jerkin I made from a jacket at a thrift store and adding my new favorite thing in my wardrobe. This is a knitted coif balaclava by my friend Leggy made on Instagram. Um, it's so cozy and super warm and I'm able to wear a coif that doesn't weigh nine pounds now so that's amazing. I kind of folded it back like Arthur mostly wears his in the show and then I did my hair in this little braided hairstyle that Paige had in the mood board and it was super easy and so cute. This is where I messed up. I did black boots. Paige picked brown, but it was 1 a.m. at this point and I was tired. So, did some blush. Did some sparkles for his magical boyfriend. Did a little lip and then added this black belt. Uh, this is maybe my favorite outfit right now, Paige, so thank you for helping me <laughs> create this look. Um, I love that I can wear the coif up as well because it is quite a warm situation and the weather is very unpredictable lately. I'm probably gonna be packing this to Poland, so thanks Paige, because I'm being indecisive about packing. <laughs> of course it wouldn't be complete without a weapon, so here's me with Sting, a fitting weapon for my size because I am tiny. Can't wait to wear this again. Thank you, Paige. Next we have Nora Knockthrice on Instagram, who has picked Neon Grunge for me. This was fun because I used to dress like this a lot. <laughs> so we started with a black turtleneck, purple skirt, some fishnets, and then this very strange shirt I bought many years ago, uh, which I never wear anymore. So I have these socks that are not, not giving, but they do match the skirt. So we covered them up with these very tall platform boots, kind of gave it uh, a more spooky vibe added many belts and harnesses, wearing uh, the first one upside down, and then this one we did a crossbody bag to kind of give it that X look in the front, 
did some space buns, dark lips, and added a headband. And um, I literally would have worn this outfit every day when I was like 16, 17 if I had had all of this stuff. So it was very fun to revisit this style. I also forgot to add, uh, we put on one glove, one mesh glove to match the fishnets. And I love this look. I'm ready to go be a video game character. Thank you, Nora. Lanchin, just Lanch on Instagram, made me a dark academia board with mostly her photos, which I think is so cute because uh, she is the queen of dark academia. I started with these leather shorts, this little uh, lace made top that's got cute bows and buttons, some long socks with some heels, a low ponytail. I did these cameo earrings and this flower necklace that matches the earrings I showed earlier. And then this little black thrifted jacket on top. This I really love. I think it's super fun because it uses elements of like masculine and feminine things, which is of course my favorite thing. Here's me reading a Harvard classic book, which I have never actually read in my life, <laughs> but it was giving the vibes. Thank you, Lanchin, for helping me create this very cute outfit. Here's me in my pajamas showing you the aftermath of what it is like to create how many outfits did i make eight nine nine outfits over <laughs> over the phone with people who have never seen my closet before um yeah it was a mess but i cleaned it up in less than 45 minutes so thank you adhd for that even though i did wreck my closet and my apartment for this video. I had so much fun doing this. I was able to reuse a lot of things that I haven't styled in a long time and just get to talk to a lot of my friends. So that was very, very fun. Thank you everyone who made me a little outfit. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it inspired you to try a new style or maybe let your own friends style you.